to series number two, which is the owning division mm. of GCL. I'm very hype. We got <laughs> Team Bottom Frag versus, uh, which one is this? Calypso. Calypso, yeah. Team Calypso. Mm -hmm. Tim Calypso. Tim, Tim Calypso. And Tim, Tim, oh my God. <laughs> team Calypso. See, this is why I took, this is why I drank some tea. Okay. But my words still mumble a little bit. It's all good. It's all good. We're all highlighting Yoru. Yoru is life right now. I believe I'm ready for it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ready to cast the Yoru. Honestly, I haven't casted a Yoru for weeks, even months. I haven't seen any Yoru. I, I was thinking about playing Yoru yesterday, actually, like in a game, but then I decided not to to spare my teammates. <laughs> Select your agent. I mean, He's definitely been given some adjustments, a little bit of tinkering, you know, on the Riot devs. And uh, very excited to see, not see him apparently being played by, <laughs> by the teams right now. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we're seeing yeah, we're a, very, a, much, a much more normal write up. They tricked us again. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting on the side of Calypso to be seeing that Sky come out on Bion. I feel like I do see a lot of teams playing Sova, but neither teams do have the Sova this time. And another thing to note is that it will be that Brimstone against the Omen coming out from Team Bottom Frag. And that's the three smokes versus the recharging smokes from Kot Lama. So it will, Team Bottom Frag will have a little bit more to work with in terms of that. In addition to that double Sentinel. So they are on attack right now, but their defense side should be pretty strong. On the other side, we have that Sage. Looks like the Sage is going to be playing B long. Usually I do see this A short, so it'll be... We'll have to see how she ends up using her wall and using her slows and things like that. Indeed, indeedy. And the clock has dropped. The walls are up. GLHFs all around as Team Bottom Frag. Smoke. Postured outside of A. Kind of using this as maybe their opening site, but again, with that teleport, you know, it, it's it's not necessarily a commitment of sorts, but that wall will go down to protect that spike plant with Pika and Ari already finding kills in their name. Yeah, and it's down to two. Yeah, it's down to two now for Team Clip, so. And they're both coming in from that CT side. Oh! Uh-oh! That is not the nade we wanted to see, and... And it's coming quickly. They are getting pinned from showers right here, where Pika is gonna get taken down by movement, so it is still a 2v4. Oh, they're gonna ride this wall up! To get over the other Sage wall, Cuppy finds her kill. Last but sitting so low with all of that kill draw utility, burning time. And this is going to be first point on the board for Team Bottom Frags. Liked how they kind of stormed into sight from both those different angles there. Coming in from a short, putting out that typical Sage wall we see that cuts off all the defenders. And then applying pressure again as i said with pika just sitting in showers and catching off some of those members of calypso off guard since usually when you see that sage wall go up you expect all the members of team bottom frag to be playing at short so that's really for good for them and that will net them their first round going into the specter buy round and it seems like both teams here have actually forced up look at this pika walking up so close oh dodges the Pain Shells will get the kill onto Cuppy. Moomin walling off and trying to slow down any advantage right now for Bottom Frag, but they're just gonna dash their way through onto side while the rest of Team Calypso rotating over. But they're already three women down as that spike is planted. Oh, oh one enemy oh. remaining. There's gonna be taken it's all down. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Is Jen J? She's just gonna have to like hide behind this wall. She all all she has is a stinger. Oh, 
look a bit bleak. Team Bottom Frag are just gonna be moving out of the site now. And seems like it's Gen J will just be looking to die with the spike detonation here, unless she decides to save that stinger. She's actually gonna decide to save that stinger. Well, once again, it's just Team Bottom Frag coming in under the site, playing that same 4 1, providing pressures from two different angles. And then even being able to kill Calypso, even though they were on that force buy. So now going into this round, they won't have that rifle advantage that we usually team see teams have after going 0-2. They will be forced back onto those stingers. And so this is going to be a pretty good bonus round for Team Bottom Frag, right? They still have those specters because nobody died that round and they still will have that weapon advantage. So going into this, they're just building up their economy more and more. Calypso once again playing that 3-2 split. 3 on A and 2 on B. Both both sides are playing a little further back, except for Cuppy here, who is oh gonna use God. that boom bot and try to find out some more information. But once again, we have Team Bottom Frag moving in four in a four and one person unit. Yeah. Like that smoke kind of is going to help. Cuppy throws her pain shells, trying to see if she can think a little bit of some bodies in octagon but that Ares doing a bit of work trying to move the bodies of the rotation from tim calypso but all five now here but it's lathia finds the first kill wall <laughs> that's gonna be they're just gonna take that teleport yep there it goes and then right in through all four on short already making their way over onto A. Yeah, and look at that. As you said, just all four taking the teleport. Now they have a bit of this advantage on site, and they are going to do that cheeky showers wall. And Pika Bitch actually going to catch Abby out here. Last player standing. And just like that booming on her lonesome, she gonna see if she can find a kill she's i think gonna she's gonna encounter the turret for if she gets spotted but cat llama at short shuts that down oh and three for bottom frags and we saw pika there had the bag coming in from ct just making sure that the members of flipso <laughs> had nowhere else to go and i really like the wall usage coming out from team bottom frag it is providing them those safe plants and then they're just able to hold off the site and complete the round and now at least we will be seeing those rifle buys come out. No ultimates as of yet coming out from both teams, but this should at least give Calypso some even playing ground. Even playing ground going into this fourth round. And we see that they have switched the Rays and Reyna on both sides. Team Bottom Frag once again going to do that 4-1 split. And Abby here at short is going to be that first point of contact to hold them off. Shadows yep, Cat Llama opening it up with her smokes, but the little wolf pup, <laughs> the wolf pup Tasmanian tiger devil thing that Sky has will spot a bunch of those bodies. And this is now four bodies from Team Calypso holding a site down. So this is a rotation. Yeah, this is a rotation from those four members. Remember, we still do see Pika hat in showers just waiting for those defenders. Once they back off, she's not catching out some people there, but she gets caught out herself. And Piggy is wow. going to pick up one in Kuka. So now Team Bottom Frag are at the disadvantage. Yeah, they still need to make their way onto site. 30 seconds left on the clock and they are nowhere left. close looks like they want to make another rotation back onto a but it's gen j and copy still holding it down over here uh, copy finds one showstopper in play will connect that's a triple kill for her and spike control throws their nade finishes it out 4k for a copy with a nice flare <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really good on the side of Calypso. They got those initial picks, but they got the pick in Hookah, got the pick of the Lurk of Pika in Showers, and because Team Bottom Frag were at that women disadvantage, they couldn't push on to any site because Calypso was just holding it down, right? So 
Team Bonafide just have to be a little more careful on not getting picked out in those positions there and just going straight onto a site as it worked for the past three rounds. Now this time Clipso have decided to stack three members B here with the Sage at long again, ready to put up that wall. So it's Gen J here, gonna have to try to pick out these members to make sure they can't get on site. And she spots the head of one, forced to dash out. She does a little bit of chip damage there, but it is Piggy. Finishing it off. And now Lockdown is in play from Team Bottom Frag, trying to see if they can push Calypso on the backside so that they can make their way over, get that spike down. And so they shall. Got him. Spike planted. There you go, gonna be a 4v4 retake with Rez on the side of Team Bonfrag. Yep, but Slothia sprays it out, both of them getting, but it is Calypso so far cleaning house, moving with the triple, and they will get that defuse and two points for the team. Yeah, the lockdown there allowed for Team Bottom Frag to clear out that site. As we just saw, Calypso just had to wait in the wings, but then working together as a unit, being able to finish off and take back that site. So now, in this round, we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of ultimates coming out, right? We have the Resurrect from both teams. We have the Empress from Piggy, which could be really useful in trying to hold one of these sites if she does choose to pop it. But on the other side, we have the Blade Storm. We have the Showstopper, which could allow Team Frog team bottom frag to go that much faster onto a site and they're being i feel like they're being a little bit hesitant right now they didn't push in completely with that lockdown they just allowed it to take down further and further and i think that again allowed for calypso just to get into place and have a strong retake so team fraud and frag just really need to catch out calypso un need to catch out yep. calypso surprised right now <laughs> Yep, Trades comes out at short. As that spike trying to make its way onto site, it's Gen J throws a molly, but nobody's there. Piggy, though, with her Empress, will find one. She wants more. But they do slow down that spike plant. It's a 2v2. Oh, but Piggy finds another. It's a double, and it's all up to Pika. No spike. She is trapped in the showers. She does have 46 seconds left, so this is very possible, but Calypso have set up that nice crossfire there from U-Haul and Cubby. And we saw there that Calypso were broke down that Sage wall very, very quickly, which didn't allow Team Bottom Frag that safe cut that they always wanted. Pika's gonna find one though. <laughs> Very beautiful. Is she gonna connect? She will. She finds the triple clutch for Pika. And that is four points for Bottom Frag. Four points from Bottom Frag, and they did not have to use any of those ultimates, even though there was a bit of a stall at the very end because they couldn't have that safety of the Sage Wall. Pika able to finish it off as kind of the lurker, the, the member who's not with the team the most of the time. And so now, once again, we're going to be going into this rifle round. Calypso not going to have that Empress anymore, and... They are one away from the Seekers, which could get give them some information about where Team Bottom Frag are, but they aren't necessarily playing that Lurk. They're more trying to hit the site together, just from both directions. But this time, as I say that, we have Pika all the way at B long while these members are pushing A short. Yeah, I, looks like the call right now is they want to make a play in A. They drop their smokes. Copy once again with it, Boombot to signal. Tries to see, slows it down with her paint shells. And they're gonna split it up. They still wanna commit here. But Abby, Wolf gets shot. Shower controls. Fourth team bottom frag. And that's gonna spot out Copy here. They're still gonna try to push into A and. It's looking to start soon. <laughs> yep, smokes comes out, flashes as well, but bodies falling from both sides as Team Bottom Frag trying to still make their way onto site. Showstopper used, not finding anybody. Piggy, though, finds another for herself. It's a 2v3, and 
Team Bottom Frag forced to make this rotation. Now they're gonna have to deal with four from Calypso as they get this spike down for to their control. One from Clipson and two all. Kiki finds one, one, connects with the other. That's a triple and a secured round for Team Calypso. Once again, Calypso not allowing Team Bonifrac to get on that site. We see those two, two kill showers. We see the kill short. And Showstopper, unfortunately, not able to connect on the side of Team Bottom Frag. So it is just basically, can Team Bottom Frag get onto a site? If they can, seems like they win the round. If they don't, it will be the round going over to Calypso. So hopefully, Team Bottom Frag get a little bit of that aggression. You know, the fire under their feet. And just storm <laughs> onto the site. Especially, again, they have the rays, they have the jet, they have those tools just to blast back over, zoom on over, and catch out catch the members of Calypso off guard. I feel like I've tripped on that twice today. But Calypso can also choose to play a little more aggressive as well. They are holding quite far back on either site, kind of giving up completely Shower's control and giving up any semblance of short control. They don't have a Sentinel on that A site. So I guess they are just playing it safe and waiting, which is also a completely valid strategy. Don't, don't blame it at all. Don't blame them at all. It's looking like another A hit though, as we have a 3-2 split this time, and Ari has already gotten caught oh. up. There. Yep, the rest of Team Bottom Frag pushing their way through. They will find a couple of bodies and upgrading their specters to some rifles here. But Abby shuts down Pika. Orbital Strike is used, spike not planted. able to connect to stop that spike plan. From the shadows from Cat Llama, she's gonna take herself up to heaven, get spotted by Moomin. It's a 3v2 Seekers on the hunt. Cabbage is giving sight, that is a res. But Moomin will just clean house in the showers. They'll tap that spike and it's all up to Lemon Kali here. Her utility will find one, she's gonna have to deal with that wall. <laughs> They're gonna shoot through it, but okay. Moomin, pros don't think she's got this. <laughs> yeah, and that's all the members of Team Bottom Frag just getting taken out again. And maybe Team Bottom Frag just have to smoke out some more angles and not allow for Calypso. We saw the Seekers there come out and just tag out those members of Team Bottom Frag. So they were not able to see, even though the res came out and they tried to get some of that advantage back. Unfortunately, not able to. And once again, we have the Empress up from Calypso. And we saw how good it was in trying to retake the site for Calypso. So if she uses that again, it could be another tool for them. Lemon Kali is one alt point away. So if they do gain any orb control, which it seems like Calypso still has been giving up so far. Team Bottom Frag haven't really been taking advantage of that too much though. That should be a B long orb and hopefully she takes that here. Yeah, I, I find it interesting. Pika's, I think, gonna try to get the orb for herself in showers, too, or is she just gonna walk by? She finds a flank on A. Tries to connect with another, but Piggy will take her out and heal up as well, but lockdown in play in favor for Team Bottom Frags as they are going to claim B site for themselves and get that spike down. It's Gen J will find one. Piggy cleans up for herself with that Empress. Looking for more, not enough, and it's all up to Moomin. Oh. This is very possible. She has to check. Oh no, behind her! Ooh. Oh, that is unfortunate. She did not clear that corner. And Lemon Collie was sitting right there. And there's now five Christine Bottom Frags. Honestly, I love that corner because sometimes, just like that time, people just do not check it and you can just shoot them in the head and feels, mm -hmm. feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty good. But yeah, we see Le Lemon Collie there, got the B-Long Orb and got that ultimate down, which helped Team Bonifac push out those members of Calypso. And Ari there, we saw her zoom onto the site from Hookah and that she was able to get some, but not all. It doesn't matter though as Team Bottom Frag. We saw that aggression, right? And then it worked out for them as they were able to take and hold that site. And this time, Cuppy is going to pop that showstopper. Try to catch out some members here. Oh, she wants it. She fires. 
not able to connect. She sees and hears everybody shooting at her and just <laughs> not really able, able to sp spot those bodies. <laughs> Now, Pika here really has been a thorn in the side for Eclipse, though. They always have to make sure that there is nobody lurking, and she yeah. always is. Mm-hmm. Here. Oof. Ari finds the head of Cuppy, and that, to them, could be the signal that they want. But Piggy uses the leer, tries to slow things down, spots the head of Ari, will take that and heal herself up, too. Rest of her team already making their way over onto B, but again, we're just seeing the teleports coming out oh, from Team Bottom Frag. Oh, the flag from Pika, not able to connect. They find her. Causes a little bit of confusion for them, I think, as to where this spike is. That probably caused some confusion clips though there. I liked how they were able to use spike those smokes planted. and kind of make Team Bottom Frag back off because they weren't so, you know excited at, about the prospects of going in by here kalama is just gonna get taken out by piggy yeah. Ooh, the rotations already coming through it is all up to slothia and lemon to try and prevent this diffuse but it is calypso they will claim this round and take that point for themselves tying things up five to five yeah, it looks like on the rotate, maybe Team Bottom Frag just have to be a little more decisive and get on that site as quick as they can, right? We saw the flank coming out from Pika and CT. Unfortunately, not able to catch out those members of Calypso. That would have been so great if she if she was able to mow like one or two of them down just to stop them that much more and allow for the plant to go down and the time to take down for Team Bottom Frag. And that is going to be the score all tied up Watch five to five. And Team Bonfrack are going to be going on a little bit of a partial here. So Calypso will have the gun advantage. Moomin one point away from that Sage all. If she's able to pick off somebody long, she could at least bring back that sixth member for Calypso. Seems like Team Bonfrack now have opted to keep Pika with the team. So she will be another entry fragger for the site. Yep, and entry she does, shows herself, throws those pain shells as they try to barrel their way through. Ari finds Moomin with that Ares, and just yeah. like that, A site now in their control, and they will get that spike down. Spike planted. Yeah, now we see a really late rotate coming out from Abby, but the two members are already pushing onto the side. They're just sitting in smoke here. <gasps> Ooh. Those are trades coming down. It is still a 2v2. But Killjoy Utility sitting on top of that spike might have been used a little bit early. But they do still have that crossfire and control. But Copy connects Lemon Collie oh. double for her. Utility? What's that? I don't need it. Secures the round, round for Team Bottom Frags. You know, she needed a little bit. You know, she had to she had to pop one, right? To give, give <laughs> the time, a little more time. And then when the defenders got desperate, they had to peek that angle because you can't just ignore the people there, right? You mm -hmm. don't you don't have those smokes coming down, like they can just peek you wide. And there, you see the killjoy and the rays being really good at Holding down that spike because, you know, if she had the pain shells up, she can throw those pain shells. She can basically throw a lot of damage and utility toward those <laughs> defenders. <laughs> and now they're going to go back to the tried and true 4 1. But it's Gen J has pushed up far. She's going to try to take this orb for all, and she's just going to be punished. That was through her smokes and Ari. Finds one for herself with her blade storm. She's sitting on the back here. Rest of Calypso rotating over, but Ari sneaking up behind them. And just a little bit of chip damage already from the pain shells. They have no idea where she is. She grabs herself one, forces that turnaround, make that a triple. Pika Fish locks it in with that showstopper. Flawless round for bottom frags.
switching sides. Yeah, very unfortunate there for Callisto, except especially for its Gen J. I know what she wanted to do. I know she wanted to get that orb, get the <laughs> orbital strike, and make sure she could clear out one of those positions, maybe even stop a plant with that. But unfortunately, sometimes you just you just got the right crosshair lineup for for the orb mm -hmm. right there. And that's what Pika had. So the lurk there and the other on the other way to get onto site was rewarded. So Going into the second half, we do have a 5-7, and now the double Sentinels are on that defense. It's going to be really hard for Calypso to really push on unless they can just destroy all that utility. We have, you know, Sage playing A short now, and we have Kyoto playing B, but they're actually going to be pushing out with that Paranoia and not going to see anybody. That's going to let them know that there probably isn't anybody at B. Yep. Yeah. Looks like they will just have Mum and Kali oh. fall back, but... Ooh, Moomin tried to ride that wall! They're gonna... Try to shoot it through, but... It's okay. On the other side, Piggy and Abby will get those kills. Opening it up the round for the rest of their team. It's a 3v2 as that spike is now getting planted, but Cat Lama slows it down. Piggy closes it out. Triple kill for her. And Calypso will claim it around. Yeah, it feels like Calypso there took a little bit out of the page of Team Bottom Frag as they did have that split. It was a bit of a different split because it was 3 2 and not that 4 1. But that allowed them to just get those picks, get onto site, and. Team Bottom Frag, they had those two members pushing out of B there. But they were just a little bit late as the members were already downed onto that site. Looks like they're not going to try that again. Maybe a little worried that they're going to get punished, especially with the gun disadvantage now as they have opted to go on all those classics. And that's going to be a preemptive wall coming up from Slothia. And it's going to get immediately taken down here. So Team Bottom Frag are going to start rotating those other two members. Bomb buddy out. Yep. And they're just gonna send that boom bot in, try to scout things out. <laughs> <laughs> As they clear up the rest of this wall, making sure that Moomin <laughs> is just not or not Moomin, um Slothia is not hiding right behind it. Ooh, Piggy finds the opening kill while the rest of her team already rotating themselves over onto B, which is the best call because Team Bottom Frag, they all made their way onto A. And that's going to be the Sage Wall going up in CT. So that's going to give Calypso that much time to get the plant down and move to their positions. We're going to have a plant coming out from Ari here, but we do have his Gen J watching it. She knows that Piggy here is going to get the first kill. It's Gen J finds another with that Ares has all of the heals coming out from Abby. <laughs> Piggy though gets found by Slothia. One enemy. Little moral victory there as she's now on her lonesome. Abby shuts that down, ties the round 7-7 seven, seven now. Yeah, I like how Calypso there actually left behind a member, kind of just like how Team Bottom Frag do is doing. They left, left a member that was Pika last time will be Cuppy this time. Just to make sure that Team Bottom Frag don't really come up behind them and get those cheeky kills when they don't expect it. Because both of these teams are playing the same, kind of the same way on this attacking side. Hopefully Team Bottom Frag can be like, Okay, they kind of play like us. Let's make sure to take out that Lurker and put them on that man disadvantage. The first round, they tried to do that with the double push out of Kuka. It didn't quite work out since they weren't exactly there. So Lemon Kali here is going to spot out some members B long. She's going to try to put those swarm grenades down to make sure they can't get on site that quickly. Once again, Lurk from Cuppy. Just looking at that preemptive Sage Wall once again. Yep, even the Tasmanian Tiger trying to scout, but Pika opens up the round, sees the spike as well. Lemon Collie follows it up for herself, and now Team Calypso a little bit frazzled over here as they are down to two as they try to just regain control of that spike. Yeah, they have gotten it, so they can feel free to move out, but this is still a 2v5. 
I feel like I'm saying the same things that I said last half, right? Calypso not able to get on site. And so mm -hmm. it's going to be really difficult for them since their members did get picked off. And we already have Pika here. But she's not going to get anybody. It was... It's very punishing that their bonus round, they face against rifles long range like that. But Abby and Cuppy... As I say this, manages to even things out for a 2v2 as that spike is taking away. And Abby will also just heal, heal Cuppy up. Oh. Lemon Collie gets spotted. They are now aware it's a sandwich. Lemon Collie, triple kill for her. 8 HP to her name will claim this spike. I was looking really wow. dicey for team bottom frag because they lost so many mm -hmm. members on that site trying to stop Calypso from planting that spike. And because of that, even though they were on those rifles, their economy is not going to be looking that great compared to the economy of Calypso since now they can buy up after that bonus round. Even though, you know, it was a loss, they still have yeah. enough cash in the bank. This time we do have the Seekers. They weren't used last round, but they could be used this round in addition to that Empress to try to get Team Calypso onto that site. It seems like the Sentinels haven't really slowed down Calypso that, that much, right? We see the Sage Wall once again. It just gets broken down every single time. Slow Orb is going to come out, and that's going to give some time for Team Bottom Frag to come in. But here Calypso is all trapped at short, and if Lemon Polly can come at the exact right time, she could take advantage of that. Oh, <laughs> all of this utility coming out. Empress now used Moomin and Slothia, both finding kills for themselves. Piggy, Empress going off, finding kills. It's now a 3v2. They're going to ride that teleport onto the other site. Get that spike planted onto B. And here, Team Bottom Frag can just allow this Empress to run out. Seems like it is going to run out after a few more seconds. Spike planted. And this is interesting. We have Lemon Collie already here in Hookah. But Slothia is still at A. There we go. Teleport is going to come in. So they're both going to try to take the same angle. We do have that lockdown available and some swarm grenades to try to push Calypso out of their positions. Oh, they tried to see if they can push someone from Cubby. Slow Orb as well comes down. Slow down Piggy. Oh, sitting in elbow as the, both of Team Calypso... Or sorry, Team Bottom Frag making their way onto site. Cuppy throws that pain shells. And that spike, they won't have enough time now. Not enough time. And both members of Team Bottom both. Frag will die. So that is a complete economy reset on those both sides mentioned in that previous half when you can throw the paint shells onto the bomb you stop the team right and team bottom frag just took a little bit too long to come over from a sloth uh, lemon collie was waiting for slothia to come over and might have been a little bit of a miscommunication there on how quickly they both wanted to go had the had the lockdown didn't actually end up using that, which I guess it was for the better since they were running out of time. But that should be available for this round and trying to stop Calypso. And we're actually going to see Team Bottom Frag rotate a lot of members toward B and even look out B long a little bit. So if Calypso push A, they are only going to be met with Pika. And that is not going to look too great for her. She only has that Sheriff. She has the showstopper yeah. though, and if they all group up, they could take some damage. But they know, they hear the TP here. Yeah, they hear that teleport cuppy. She will use the showstopper, and that forces both Lemon Collie and Slothia to fall back. Will she spot them in time? She does. She finds one. Shuts that down. Moomin picks up one for herself as well. And Team Bottom Frag looking a little gruesome for them with a 3v5 and nothing but pistols cuppy flies over and gets that kill rest of her team already planning that spike on b site Ooh. sprays and praise 
Pika trying to see if she can connect, doesn't find anybody with her showstopper while her teammate already rotating over. But Cuppy on the flank shuts things down and Lemon Collie on her own will fall. And that is now nine points for Team Calypso. I like the idea of Team Bottom Frag though, because they were on those pistols, they wanted to try to take some initial fights that Calypso did not expect. And Push out of B, take that teleporter, try to catch mm -hmm. them out by surprise. Unfortunately, not able to land those shots. It was looking a little <laughs> bit sus for Cubby there, back at a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but she was able to connect with that showstopper, so not too much an it too much of an issue for the side of Team Calypso. So now we are going to be going into those full rifle rounds. Lockdown still up, Resurrect now up on both sides with the Seekers available for Calypso as well. Early Sage Wall is going to go in Hookah, however, and that's going to stop Calypso just a little bit, deciding whether or not they actually want to break this wall. And they will. Okay, Slothia postured outside of it, Lockdown as well being used. To say not at B, but Ari on the flank will spot that spike. Connect with another. She now has a double. Will dash away. She does have her blade storm ready if she needs to. But connect. That is a triple for her. Pika on the flank connects, and it's all up to Abby now. She has spike, but that's all she's got. <laughs> they, she hears like it all. She gets one. Eventually, <laughs> they will find her and shut that down. Another tie, nine nine, for Team Bottom Frag. Yeah, this is something that Team Bottom Frag is doing that Calypso didn't do in that last half, which was push out those sites. They are being a lot more aggressive on defense than I expected with those double sentinels. I think they realize. The holds aren't doing too well against the side of Calypso, though. So they're like, okay, if, you know, the fights take a little bit to come to us, we're just gonna go to them. <laughs> As we just right? saw them sandwich Calypso in that short area and not allowing them to do anything there. And this time, it is going to be that 3-2 split onto A. And because they have that Sage Wall and Hookah, they won't be able to push out there. So I don't know if we'll be seeing... Too many of those crazy flanks coming out from Team Bottom Frag, but once again, there is that TP, so I want to count it out just yeah. yet. I don't think the Tasmanian Tiger spotted where Cat Llama is sitting, which is right outside of showers, up on the boxes. It looks like they're trying to spray her down a little bit, but she will use from the shadows, goes all the way to spawn, will connect, finds Cuppy. She wants more, finds another and the spike before finally being removed. But again, Piggy and Abby on their lonesome here. But Piggy is just fragging out. She's now sitting with three kills and they will have spike control. They are going to take it to B as those seekers tell them where the rest of Team Bottom Frags are, which is not even close to B side. Yeah, but now Slothia can actually take this time to potentially res one of her team members at short. Looks like she is heading to Fusa. There we go. So that's going to be a res coming out 3v2. But Piggy has that Empress, and she's been getting some pretty good shots today. There we go. She is going to pop it. Oh, 4k for her right now. She is looking for a 6k, not finding it. Slothia shuts that down. But it's all up to Abby. Um, she's gonna spray and pray, not connecting. Pika gonna finish that out, and that is now 10 points for bottom frags. Uh, unfortunately, there, I think she was, she knew that there was a member of Huka, and she. She was expecting that she would hop onto site. Hopefully, she was hoping that she would be able to be able to pick off that member and then pick off mm -hmm. the member defusing as, you know. I guess sometimes pros don't fake, but sometimes pros fake. So you never really know when to keep that <laughs> in that situation, especially if you are stuck in that little cubby. So you should gamble a little wrong at that moment, but that is okay. They are 
they're they're just, they're just still doing well. It is only a one round difference right now, and it seems like this wall has been going up in Hookah quite often. And Calypso have just been circumventing that as they have been going A. And Ari here has been pretty good at holding short. So we're going to see if she can do it again. And she's Ooh. just going to get mowed down. Yep, that is the power of the Aries as Paint Shells and the rest of Utilities flying out. The wall comes up as well. So Pika right now trying to hold things down as the rest of her team makes the rotation over. But she is shut down. Piggy finds another. And just like that, it's a 2v5. This attempted retake from Bottom Frag is going to be very, very difficult. Cat Llama, though, finds one. Make that a double. Last player standing. Will get shut down, and it's all up to Slothia. Tries to spray, not connecting. Abby locks it in. Tie once again for this match. Yeah tied once again and that was basically because they picked off Ari there at short making sure that she's not able to take those 1v1 fights as she's looking into so many gun barrels and that just happened throughout the round right we just saw them not taking the fights one by one and taking them together and that really helped them secure that 10th round when I mean, they didn't even have to use the resurrect or the orbital strike so those could be used to help either in that hold or in a take. And this time, they're going to take their chances. They're going to be like, okay, if the Sage Wall is here, we'll probably just mow it down again. But they're actually just congregating along here. Lemon Collie is going to be able to spot them out. Tasmanian Tiger is going to come out and try to see if it finds any information. Going to know one is in Yuka. But that is going to be that killer utility there, stopping the push of Calypso, <laughs> which allows for Team Bottom Frag to rotate all five members onto the site. And could this be a TP play? They do not have an agent that can fake it. And I'm sure they're debating it. <laughs> and there it goes. That is Ari finds a straggler. She connects with another. She's now sitting at two. She'll get healed up. But Pika, we're already ready for this rotation. Grabs herself one before being removed. But the rest of her team already here. Moomin though, that's a double for her. She will also get that spike down. The rest of team bottom frag running through. But that wall gonna make it a little bit difficult here. And that res as well. That is the orbital strike ready and available. Brought back to life from its Gen J. It's gonna allow them to play so far back. Especially if she does have some lineups here and... Whoa, Ari! <laughs> There it is. They do get it to half. Cuppy connects as well with that showstopper. It's still kind of doable, but 2 HP in a dream for Lemon Kali here. They will peek her. Shut that down. 11 points. In a dream. 11 points to and Calypso so and... Don't know if they necessarily needed to use that showstopper there as the orbital strike was already pushing off those members of team bottom frag off the spike. But at least it did end up securing them the kill on Sloth Slothia there, which, you know, then putting in that 2v1 situation, especially since Lemon Kali was so low, was really great. But that means they're not going to have those ultimates coming into this round. They're only going to have that from the shadow. Sorry. Look at... Am I looking at the wrong team? I'm looking at the wrong team. Um, they are... The defenders are going to have that from the shadow. Maybe could use it to get some more information. Have only seen it kind of on that flank, though. Not canceled, as every time it does seem to be taken. And Ari here at short. <laughs> That's Go a ahead. trade. Trade one out, yeah. The boombot trade. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I take you, you take me. Let's do it, but... Rest of Calypso kind of stalling. They heard this TP from Lemon Kali. They know she's in there. She peeks through. It's Gen J. Shuts that down. It's a little bit hurting right now for Team Bottom Frag. They're down to three. And that spike making its way onto B. 
And because there is still some noise at A short, Team Bottom Frag haven't actually moved from their positions at B. Catlama is just going to come left. over and make sure that nothing fishy is going on. I think she's going to see that wall here and know that Calypso are planting on B. And now we are going to have agents that are really good at holding down the bomb, right? We're going to have Cuppy up. We're going to have It's Gen J up. And they could... They got off some lineups, but it seems like Gen J is actually playing on site. So she's just looking to frag out here. Yep, from the shadows is used, has to be canceled because she gets spotted. So it's just looking very, very dire for Team Bottom Frag right now to try and make something happen here. That spike taken away. Slothia finds one, will get traded. Trade's going out. It's all up to Cat Lama now. But that spike is yelling at her. Come at it. She has no time. She's going to run away. She's going to run away. And that's going to be the 12th round going over to Calypso. And right now they are on that match point. Match point. Looking really good at taking those taking those rotations and getting the bomb down. Then with those member advantage holds, they've been doing quite well. But Team Bottom Frag here, economy not going to be looking so great right now. They can only partial buy on some of their members going into this very critical round. But Lockdown, still available. Together. Showstopper, also available. And they're both playing B. It seems like Calypso are going to be trying to push this. So those two ults could be critical in either stopping the members of Calypso or just completely killing the members of Calypso. Yeah, and we're seeing three members of bottom frags postured outside B cat llama playing that rotation but the rest of team calypso oh, yeah. looks like they want to commit here but pika finds a huge kill taking piggy out before there any attempt to even make their way onto site lemon collie hoping to see if she can get one for herself but it is not going to come to fruition abby shuts that down it is a 4v4 it's gen j though ready for the rotation sprays grabs one Traded out for her. Even round still, but looking really rough as Ari sitting at 30 HP. Teleports away. They will take that spike onto A. And now we are going to see some members of Team Bottom Frag low. They still have that showstopper to work with to either slow down the plant or stop it completely as Pika here Ooh. is just going to take out spike the spike carrier. A. One enemy remains. Yep, Katlama finds one for herself too. Triple kill for Pika. Shot through the freaking cabbages. 11 <laughs> points staying alive here. 14 bottom frags. Oh my god. Yeah, when you gotta when you rotate through those TPs, you gotta go fast because team bottom frag can just rotate through CT as we saw and be ready for you when you come out of showers. You gotta just sheet the guns and you gotta run with your knife out to make sure you can get that plan on site, especially with the threat of the showstopper in this round. That threat is still online as it did not need to be used. That's gonna be a three alt advantage for the side of team bottom frag. Once again, both these alts playing on that B site. Sage playing short could put up that preemptive wall. Not yet though, as we see Ari pushing out of shower. So that's gonna give Team Bottom Frag information that Calypso could be playing toward this B site. And Pika's just gonna spam some shots just in case she gets a lucky one here. Could, you know, this could be a TP or they could choose to go on site. We'll have to see. Yep, they commit one Leer. And force a lockdown to be used on B. That forces everyone from Team Bottom for uh, sorry, from Team Calypso to teleport themselves over. But they're gonna be sandwiched by Team Bottom Frag here. That spike will make it onto site. But Showstopper here in play. Connect Pika finds its Gen J, removes her. Ari and Katlama kills from themselves. Spike now being diffused. Abby patience from her finds one, gets another. But they are not faking. This is an overtime. One enemy remains. Rose, don't fail. Oh my god. <laughs> Switching sides. And that's why overtime. you just stick, stick the spike diffuse sometimes, guys. You know, once you get lucky and the rest of your team can just run around and try to stop those attackers and distract them while you just you know just sit there and sing a song you know just, just chilling <laughs>
that fuse that spike. So this is this is gonna be a very important round here. I feel like I don't know. Both both teams they kind of have equal success on attack and defense. I think it's just gonna come down to who can have that controlled aggression, right? We see like I think it was Team Bottom Frag that pushed out sometimes, got information, tried to stop those TPs from coming out as we just saw. The members were already ready at short when they were coming out of ATP. This time it's going to be a fast push from a short. Yep, fast push indeed, but it's Piggy. That finds the opening round. Looking for more, but shut that down. 4v3 with that spike ticking away. It's Gen J on fire. Has a double for her. The rest of her team rotating over, but Lemon Kali. She's holding it down. It's Gen J, triple kill. Uses orbital strike and grabs the 4k. They will sit on this diffuse. Very strong hold coming out from Cliff. So just even though the spike went down with the typical sides. sage wall, it was able to Match come point. out and just completely wreck the members of the other team now we are going into match point and this is going to be what i talked about before the double sentinels on defense not again not that it's really stopped callisto in any way shape or form as they still have been able to get on the site and still have been able to plant the spike and now congregating congregating around b short not Looking like a teleport play right now. Just trying to figure out where those members of Team Bottom Frog are playing. Typical Sage Wall is going to go up again. And we have Ari here. Doesn't get caught out this time, but she definitely knows there are a lot of members here. Yep. Pain shells flying through. Molly's as well. It's Cuppy. That finds that first shot taking Ari out. And the rest of her team making their way over. Pika... Through that blind, manages to connect. Grabs for pain oh. shells. She gets a triple. She's looking for more. Throws that pain shells again. She is just fishing. She even has a showstopper in play. Moomin on her lonesome now with that spike. It's going to have to traverse all the way to B. She hears that TP. That is Killjoy utility back online and she's questioning where she wants to commit yeah, this is why you gotta push on the site because that raised paint shell is going to absolutely decimate your health if you just stay in a short for as long as team calypso did and that's gonna put movement in a very tough spot she does have 20 seconds left but she's gonna be pushing into this showstopper right now she has the wall up, but I don't think it's going to stop too much here as oh. Sophia is going to be able to clean that up. And we are going into the second overtime, Saj. <laughs> overtime. Both teams are wanting this so bad. This is only game one of, game of two games that they're going to have to play. And I'm all for it. And this is the third game that you're casting. We're going into overtime. So, have, have a fun time. Maybe, maybe <laughs> the next map will we'll also get it over time because it seems like these team these teams play styles are quite similar on the attack and it's just gonna be able to figure out who actually gets that attacking round down. Looks like Team Bottom Frag going to be pushing toward B. The Sage Wall is going to go up. Not gonna get broken though as this should be a free orb. Should they choose to take it? And it's actually going to go on to Ari. One alt point away from that blade storm. Or two alt points away. Yep. Pain shells again. Doing a little bit of tick damage. But it's Gen J. Will find herself a kill. And they want to try and commit here. But nope, they're going to posture. They're going to take that spike all the way back to A. They are oh. running, and the rotations are coming. Team Calypso finds themselves another. And bottom frag sitting at three. Lemon Kali tries to grab one. They get that spike down. Finally, it's Gen J connects. Finds Ari on the jump up to heaven. 
Numbers not in the favor of Team Bottom Frag here. There's only two members up and they're playing both on this left side. Oh my god, did they think it was behind the wall? Oh! They take her down though! <laughs> yeah, I think they actually thought it was behind the wall. I would, you know, I would have looked at that and be like, huh, the spike is in front of you, Hall, but the wall is there. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> and they're just right? gonna be playing in Switching triple sides. and playing Match at point. the. What is that position called again? It's like on the bench. Bench, right? There we go. They're mm -hmm. playing triple and bench, having that crossfire there. Unfortunately, and not being able to hold off those four members of Calypso. And now it is going to be Calypso on the attack. We, we have seen Team Bottom Frag push out and get information. So it's going to come down to, do they push out? And if they do, are they able to catch some members of Calypso unawares? So this is interesting to see how, you know, both sages end up using that sage wall, right? We do have Calypso using it at B-Long, while Team Bottom Frag usually use it at Hookah. Okay, that, that is gonna... Prevent them from going in just a little bit, but quickly broken down as Team Bottom Frag are going to rotate four members toward this B site. Could still be a teleporter though. So we do yeah. see Ari yeah. coming up short. They're kind of ready for this. They're looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if they teleport, that spike is actually going to find. Yep, there she is. She finds the spike. She's sitting spike at 33 down. HP. She still has its Gen J having to deal with there. But Abby, they will take that teleport. This is a little bit scattered here. It's Gen J finally gets that spike secured. They will take it all the way to Ake. Yeah, the spike there was a little bit held up because they had to deal with Ari or else she would have been a real problem for Eclipse. So that's, that's going to be the spike going down. Empress is online for Piggy, though. We've seen her use that quite well. She is going to pop it early as Team Bottom Frag are still pretty far away from that site. Cubby Stairs still has those paint shells so she could use it to stop those members of Team Bottom Frag as long as she knows where they're coming from. And two of them are coming from short right now. Yeah, that spike has ticked for a quite some time now and Time is really running out here for Team Bottom Frags to make something happen. They're gonna barrel their way through, but Cuppy finds one. Abby on the corner shuts that down. And just like that, Team Bottom Frag, or sorry, Team Calypso will call that game their own. Oh, so a side switching. I'm like, which one? <laughs> yeah, that was, what was it? One, two overtimes? Yes. Two overtimes. Two overtimes. And don't worry, they still have another game to go. But if you look at those <laughs> that first bloods there, Piggy, Pika, and Ari, 5, 7, and 7, respectively. So duelists are really doing their job in getting onto that site or picking off those lurking members. So going into this next map, we're going to see, because it is split, we're going to see if... Mm. Maybe either team takes a mid control, maybe puts a lurk mid, or puts a lurk at either of those, either of the other two entrances going on to a B or A site, and how the other team deals with that. For sure. So we will take a short break, rest up, drink some water, and we will be right back for game number two in our GCL owning division powered by Elgato. <laughs> 